Now, potentially deadly, threatening letters sent to election offices here in Multnomah County and across the country. And now we're learning at least one of those letters discovered in Tacoma contained fentanyl. And it was postmarked from here in Oregon. And these scares, they of course sparked evacuations and office closures in five key battleground states, including Oregon and Washington. Digging deeper into this situation, Joelle Jones is live tonight. That's after speaking with political experts on what this could mean for future elections. Joelle? Well, Liz, right now we know of five offices in Washington and two here in Oregon that have been targeted by these letters. The political expert I spoke with says this is a clear act of intimidation and one we could see more of as election denial and polarization continues. It seems like a clear case of terrorism. We're seeing this not just happening in swing states anymore. We're seeing it even in safe states like Oregon and Washington. Paper and powder threatening postal and election workers in several counties here in Oregon, Washington and beyond. Following scares and evacuations, we're told the FBI and United States Postal Inspection Service are investigating nearly a dozen suspicious letters sent to local election offices, some containing threats and white powder. And according to the Associated Press, at least four have tested positive for fentanyl. Polarization and partisanship has gotten so bad in this country that people don't trust even local elected officials to carry out their duties. Uh, and it's bad enough that it's turned violent, right? That people are trying to harm others for a political ideology. The potentially deadly letters have been sent to offices in five states, with CBS reporting they may have been mailed from the Pacific Northwest. And we've confirmed at least one was postmarked here in Portland. As the Pierce County Auditor's Office shared these images of threatening letters which state in part, end elections now and go on to warn that ballot drops are susceptible to noxious chemicals and are unsafe to the public. And while political expert Christopher Stout says he doesn't believe the threats will stop election workers from doing their jobs, he says if these actions continue, they will likely slow down election results and could harm democracy, telling us if this is happening now in an off year election, we should all be wary of what's to come. But certainly worrying a worrying trend for the future thinking about 2024 we have really high stakes primary elections and of course the general presidential election in 2024 so if it's happening even in this period of time it doesn't bode well for the future And I did ask post office officials what security measures, if any, are being are being done to keep workers safe amid this scare. And while the U.S. Postal Inspection Service and the FBI did not speak on camera with us today, they bit, did both confirm that they are investigating this, with the FBI also encouraging people to be extra vigilant when handling mail and saying they want anyone to support to report suspicious activity to authorities immediately. Reporting live in Portland, I'm Joelle Jones, Coin6 News. Yeah, and there's that extra concern with that postmark from here in Portland. Joelle, thank you. Okay, time's running.